I hope that he rots in prison. I don't even want the death penalty for him because I want him to suffer the way we're suffering. Emotions are still high tonight. One year to the day after a mass shooting at a birthday party left three men dead. And with months before the suspect goes to trial, family members of those victims are vowing to see justice done. That shooting in Annapolis left three others hurt on this date last summer. And tonight the families of the victims held a visual and community walk in their memory. As WJZ is live at 11 o'clock, our Kelsey Cushion was there and has much more on the emotional words from their families. Kelsey, good evening. Vic Rick, well, the family of Mario Morales was heartbroken tonight. His mother fighting through tears, telling me that her son was a good man. He was hardworking and he loved being a father. She says she wants justice for her family. He was my baby boy. Parsinia Ruiz says it's been 365 days since her 27 year old son, Mario Morales, was killed. A year later, she is still trying to make sense of the senseless. I'm trying to be strong, but I can't. Morales, along with his father, 55 year old Nicholas Morales, and his friend, 24 year old Christian Segovia Jr., were shot and killed at a birthday party in Annapolis last year. Police say the shooting stemmed over a parking dispute between the Morales family and their neighbor, Charles Robert Smith. Officers say at one point during the dispute, Smith pulled out a gun and opened fire. Nelsey Goss says the victims, including her brother Mario, didn't deserve it. He was a great person. He was a good worker, a hard worker. Um, a great father. Tuesday night, family, friends, and survivors honored the three men by walking through Annapolis and ending at City Dock for a prayer vigil. We're here so that everyone can remember who they were and that they know that we're not going to back down and we're going to get justice for what happened that day. Smith now sits behind bars facing 42 charges. Although the pain of losing her son will never go away, Ruiz says she's hoping justice is served for her family and others in the community. I know that's not going to bring my son, but I don't want another family to go through what I'm going through. It was an emotional day to say the least. Now, some of the charges that Smith is facing includes three counts of first degree murder. His trial is set for early next year. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.